McDonnell Douglas. And then there's the tricky issue of what's powering our aircraft in the future. High oil prices and environmental fears are currently pushing scientists in the direction of seaweed. Far more productive, it seems, than biofuels that use up precious food cropland. Uh, I know that, that algae is the fastest organism, fastest growing plant on the planet, and it sequesters the greatest amount of carbon dioxide. But at the same time, it produces lipids, basically vegetable oil, and a lot of it. So if you look at a single cell of algae in the right species, as much as 50% of its body weight is a high-grade vegetable oil. So while we're sequestering carbon dioxide, we're also producing these high-grade lipids that can be used for a variety of purposes. Of course, there are some scenarios in aviation that may be technically possible in the near future, but are simply unpalatable for most travelers, like automated piloting, basically a plane being controlled from the ground rather than by humans actually on board. Intriguing question, and I think you'll find people split down the middle in terms of not in their lifetime or never versus, don't know, maybe, uh, but don't know when. Uh, I, I, I think of that in a different context, uh, and that is how manned will an aircraft be? How many uh, levels of automation and autonomy can you build into an aircraft from a cost-effectiveness point of view and from a crew workload point of view? Uh, there's no doubt in my mind that we'll see aircraft with reduced crews uh, well within the timescales of, say, the next decade or two.